He's going fishing with Bobby Bell this afternoon. So what? He saw Jerry Bucky sneaking in my trailer. That's what. Your brother didn't see Jack Squat. Sandy, now let him talk. Shut up, Lonnie. Sandy, calm down. Go ahead, Norval. Well, I raced right over here from work, and by God, if I didn't see Jerry Bucky's truck parked right here, and I just snapped. Well, partner, that ain't Jerry Bucky's truck. It ain't. This truck here you tore up, that belongs to J-Boy Simpson. Uh-oh. Now, is it true? Jerry Bucky been here with you, baby? You know me, Rack. And I'm a lot of things, but I ain't no cheater. I would never even think of cheating on Norval. I haven't even seen Jerry Bucky since first time right. here last Friday. Now, Sandy, you know good and well Narva loves you. Oh, the hell he does. He never takes me anywhere. Why, he was just telling me the other morning he had big, big plans for you this weekend. What? Is that right, Narva? 
Oh, oh yeah, a rack it is. But I was gonna take her to eat catfish. Y you was? You was gonna take me to eat catfish? Yeah. And hush puppies too? Yeah. Oh, Norval, I love catfish. I know you do, buddy. Oh, Norval, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry too, baby. I love you, baby. Yeah, I love you too, baby. I ain't love beautiful. Let's roll. All right, y'all take care. We'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye, Bye, Lonnie. Come on. Hey, babe, where are we going? Hey, babe, where are we going? Okay, I'm late. I'm sorry. There's late, and there's too late. You're the second. I had to take that prisoner over to Lawton. What am I supposed to tell the sheriff? You're supposed to tell the sheriff that it's your girlfriend's birthday, and you're supposed to be home hours ago. I did. Oh, yeah? What do you say? He said take that prisoner over to Lawton. You know what? I'm just sick of your excuses. It's always you're working late, or you're there with your buddies. You know what? I'm really glad you're having a good time. I'm glad you like to party. I'm glad we like to have fun. But unfortunately, you never like to do it with me. Cammy. Cammy. I got you something, baby. <laughs> well, this ought to be good. What? Oh, it's nothing big. It's just a little something. I wrapped up in a pair of underwear through my pants. <laughs> Jerk. Damn, Cammy. Hey, Cammy, don't. This is crazy. Do you remember your birthday last year? Let me remind you. I put on that sleazy little cocktail outfit just like that floozy-ass poker waitress you like so much down at the Indy Casino. You came in here. You didn't even say hello. You sat on that couch. You eat pork rinds, drink beer, and you fell asleep watching Coal Miner's Daughter. That's coal miner's daughter. Damn me. You hit my mower. What have I done? Well, looks like Daddy's gonna have to get him a new mower. Oh yeah, Rack. Looking good. Hey boys, what you doing? Damn, Lisa, you're looking good, baby. I wonder if she's still mad at me. Hey, Lisa. Mm. Uh, hey, uh, you got a little uh, donut right there on you. Here? No, over here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Morning, Rack. Morning. I forgot to tell you yesterday, Cammy called. Oh, yeah? Is she okay? Uh, she's fine. How's George doing? Just horny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> See why? You know that's nice, but ever since he sold my thigh master, my ass just swelled up. <laughs> <laughs> well, cowboys like fat cat. I hear the hardware store is having a sale on lawnmowers. You might want to get one. <laughs> What's up, skunk? I did it. I did it, Rack. I taught Junior how to detect the smell of drugs. Sit, boy. Sit, Junior. No. Daddy. <laughs> you don't love this. 
No peeking. Okay. Mm. Here we go. Okay, boy. Find the drugs, Junior. <laughs> Hold on. Come here, Junior. Turn around. Now get ready. Come on. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> All right, Junior. Go ahead. <laughs> Find the drugs. <laughs> Find the drugs, Junior. <laughs> Come on, Junior. Find the drugs. Give me a second. Oh, that's really good, Lonnie. <laughs> You know, you might actually be able to find him if you'd uh, blow him to his balls. <laughs> what are you turds up to? Uh, nothing, Sheriff. Well, we're gonna have to change that. You boys are working this weekend. Work? Yeah, work. It's the opposite of what you usually do. Jackson County Co-op, you're gonna stake it out Saturday night. Someone's been stealing anhydrous ammonia from the co-op tanks, and we're gonna catch him. Well, why would anybody want to steal fertilizer? Why would anyone name a baby Lonnie? It's what they use to cook meth with. Chef Wells over in Altus says it's getting to be a big problem over there. These smaller co-ops are easier to hit. Sheriff, why can't these two guys do the stakeout? Oh, well, because I said so, that's why. Besides, these boys worked the high school prom last Saturday night. That's nice. At least they were working this time. Last time they were at prom, I believe they went as a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Eat me. Oh, you'd like it. Like yeah, that? I, I, that's, that's good enough. We'll take care of this year. See you, boys, Monday. You get rid of that, that damn dog, Wade. Well, it's a canine recruit, sir. <laughs> right, get rid of it. Skunk. Your deputy tried to look like one. Where is your gun? Where's your badge? Why do I try? This sucks. Staring at fertilizer tanks on a Saturday night, it's ridiculous. Why don't you try complaining a little bit more about it and see if that helps? You got something better to do? I did. I was gonna stay home, take off all my clothes, and Becky was gonna take off all her clothes, and we were gonna do some other stuff that didn't include looking at fertilizer tanks with you. <laughs> How come Skunk never talks? He speaks when he's got something to say. I've known him my whole life. He's never said one word to me. Yeah, he don't talk much. But he is about the best cop I ever knew. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> Somebody carries that bow and arrow. You mean you don't know? No. Skunk was orphaned at a real young age and raised on a reservation by a great Kiowa Indian war chief. I didn't know that. Yeah, you know that uh, pilgrim looking fella on the outside of the Quaker Oath box? You mean the one that looks like Barbara Bush? Yeah, him. Yeah. Skunk's great-great-grandfather killed him. Really? Wow. And then he cooked him in less than a minute. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it is bullshit, but he was raised on the reservation, I promise you. Oh. Dang, Lonnie. God. What? You got a sour stomach? I didn't do that. God. Junior did. You know what? I've noticed something about Junior. Whenever he farts, something big's about to happen. I wonder what these boys are doing out here in the middle of the night. You reckon it's those fertilizer takers? Fertilizer takers? <laughs> He's cutting the lock off the gate. He don't work here. If he worked here, he wouldn't do that. Let's go, Lonnie. Take your gun off safety this time. Vámonos, buenos. Hurry up. Let's do it. 25 gallons. Five minutes. 25. Make it happen. Let's go. Freeze! Yeah! What he said! Shoot him in the hole! Come on, Lonnie. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> ah! Ah! 
I wouldn't do that. with you. That's affirmative. Uh, that is all available. Back up. Now you pissed me off. We sure have. <laughs> that elbow of yours is lethal. I'm gonna tell you what, you hit that guy so hard, I will never risk you catching me peeing in your coffee again. <laughs> <laughs> Move the personal items off the prisoner, file them for me. You got it. Well, boys, we're gonna need all your stuff. Watches, wallets, pictures of your boyfriends. <laughs> y'all look like hell. <laughs> we might have to run out and buy y'all some back team. We got everything? Well, fellas, hey, uh, I'm gonna need that necklace. Did you want this? Yeah. You can I have this. Do you understand what I say to you? This is for media. You keep your necklace. Because where you're going, that necklace ain't gonna be able to help you. <laughs> You boys sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, now, what are you three stooges doing in here? <laughs> yeah, shouldn't, shouldn't you girls be on a stakeout? Actually, where we should be is over at your daddy's house, kicking him in the potatoes for having sex with your mama. <laughs> I mean, I don't, don't, don't. We always work more than they do, Sheriff. Actually, they did have to work tonight. Norval and Sandy went out to Catfish Cove, and they ran into J-Boy Simpson. It was one hell of a fight. Hey, why that my fat? <laughs> Love beautiful. Love beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jake, how about a round of shots from the table and three beers? Thanks, Thanks right. seven. What happened out there tonight? Oh, nothing. Higgins, high speed chase, little scuffle. 
Rack. Caught four guys stealing fertilizer. Three of them were just local low lives for hire, but this one guy, he's a Mexican guy, I don't know. He may be connected. He seems to be running the show. Any idea who that might be? We're working on it. I'll know something soon. Anybody hurt? Sheriff, this one guy took one of the skunks broadheads right in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's lucky my boy didn't put one through his pump station. Ain't that right, skunk? <laughs> that damn bone here on yours. Well, listen here. Yeah, I want to congratulate you, boy. Those are toast. Here we go. Whiskey for my man. Beer for my horse. His sweat was like drops of blood falling on the ground. When he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? He asked. Get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. Amen. If you want salvation, brethren, you've got to open your ears and listen to the word of the Lord. Amen. You've got to open your eyes and look into the book and learn to live by the word of the Lord. Amen. You must wake up and smell the Bible. Amen. Ain't that so, Lonnie Freeman? <clears throat> Amen. Reverend Parker, that was a wonderful message you gave today. Really? What was your favorite part? Oh, you know, the whole thing about God being great and the devil being an ass and stuff. I feel like a new man. <laughs> oh, I'll bet you do, considering all the sleep you got. Come on, baby. Thank you. Honey. Right. We'll see you tomorrow, Lon. Okay, buddy. We missed Cammy this morning. Is everything okay? She's just fine. She's a little bit under the weather. You know, couples just don't seem to stay together anymore. It's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, it's that, all right. Well, I'll see you later, preacher. Okay. Right. You can borrow my lawnmower anytime you need it, son. Johnny Franks? I thought you was in jail. Nope. You stand out of trouble, boy? Oh, yes, I am, Mr. Deputy, sir. Yes, sir. Good. You ain't. Are you high, Johnny? You screwed up, Deputy. Big time. Yeah. You know that, uh, that Mexican guy you arrested? His name's Tito. And his brother, he's gonna kill you. Somebody's gonna kill me. Well, that's big news, Johnny. Thanks. Here's news for you. You're not a rapper. So pull your what? pants up. Uh, you don't know who you're messing with. All right, they're gonna kill you if you ain't careful. You let me worry about that. Boogie. They'll kill you. Hey, Lonnie. Hey, Rack. <laughs> no, he did. That's my partner. Well, twist my nipples, my pooch hair. Hey, darling. You looking a little rough this morning, Rack. Oh, I'm all right. Where's Cammy? She went on vacation. Really? Where'd she go? I'm not sure. Y'all break up again? Yeah. Yeah, I already heard. You want your usual, mate. <laughs> and then Junior farted, and I knew something big was going to happen. And then about that time, the tip of the Zebco just went straight down in the water, and I just set the hook, and I fought that son of a bitch for about 20 minutes. <laughs> the snapping turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Rack, I am surprised you even let him carry a gun. <laughs> Did you hear Annie Streets was back in town? No, really? Yeah. Her mama got the Alzheimer's, and she flew in from Chicago to help take care of her. Well, what about her stepdad? Don't he take care of her? Buck Baker. All he cares about is making money. He's too busy trying to bully farmers into selling him their land for a dime on the dollar. Hell, he practically owns every farm in the county now. Well, he never got daddy's farm. Well, he's one of the few that stood up to him. Rest his soul. When I was dating Annie, me and him never got along. You know, I always just knew you two'd get married someday. She wanted to go off and see the big city. There's no way I was leaving. You've still got it for her. You always have. Why don't you go see her? 
She probably got some big high dollar boyfriend back in Chicago. I saw her here the other day. She didn't have no ring on her finger. We had our time together a long time ago. Anybody ever tell you you was stone lazy? Annie is the only female ever come close to giving you a run for your money. And that's what you're missing in your life in case you're a wonder. So, why don't you leave me a big fat tip, get off your sorry ass, go see her. And take her something. I just want to come out here and see what a big city girl looks like these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, what do you think? <laughs> well, she looks a lot like a uh, small town girl that I know a long time ago. Pretty as a picture. <laughs> Stop it, Rack. What are you really doing out here? Well, actually, I came out here to bring you some corn dogs from the Tasty Cream. I remember how much she used to like them so much. <laughs> well, well, I didn't really have much of a choice because it was the only place you'd ever take me. Some uh, mustard here, some. I got the wrong one. I got ketchup. I got... <laughs> Frank, you haven't changed a bit. Is that a good thing? I guess. It's been a long time, Annie. Yeah, it sure has. So, uh, Buck's got quite a place here, huh? Yeah, it's changed a lot since I left. Bought up a whole lot of acreage. See all those buildings over there? All new. Trucks are going day and night. Wow. Yeah. Miss Baker? I think the last time I was out here was when you... Hey, Rack. How you doing there, buddy? Hey, Buck. How's the uh, deputy life suiting you? It's an honest dollar. <laughs> an honest dollar. You and your daddy both. I'm sorry to hear about his heart attack. Looks like he kind of worked himself to death, huh? Rack, why don't you come on inside and I'll fix you some sweet tea? Well, that's okay, Annie. I've probably got to get back to town. I got some deputy stuff I need to go take care of. I'll see you. Hey, Rack, if you uh, ever decide to sell your daddy's farm, Call me first. Hell, you ain't no farmer, son. You're big time deputy. Does it take practice being a grade A asshole buck or were you just born one? We still going pig hunting? I thought you and Becky was going over to Lawton. No, she's uh, keeping her sister's kids tonight, so Danny's got a hot pants. Well, by God, then, looks like we're going pig hunting. Honey, what the hell are you doing? Watch this. Okay, Junior. Fight me, boy. Fight me, Junior. Fight me, Junior. Junior, bite me. He did it earlier. Come on, Junior. Fight me. Damn it, Junior, attack me. Lonnie, cut that racket, will you? Get rid of that flea bag. Yes, sir. Any news on that Mexican boy? Uh, we sent the prince over the feds. We're still waiting on positive ID. Okay. Hey, Mavis, okay. we get that uh, fax in Oklahoma City yet? No, but you'll be the first to know when I do. Sheriff in. How about a good morning? Just tell the sheriff I'm here. Hey! Sheriff, the DA's here. What do you want? Ash, the way he's talking to me. Oh, Mavis, you sent him on back here, then. 
I knew I smelled something rotten. <laughs> well, here you boys had a big weekend. Congratulations on the arrests, but uh, we need to discuss this case. What's to discuss? Well, I spoke with the judge, and we don't think we have a good enough case. You don't have a good enough case? Nope. We caught him stealing red-handed. <laughs> fertilizer? Caught him stealing fertilizer? <laughs> Frankly, gentlemen, we feel this entire affair has been totally mishandled. Mishandled? They fired shots at us. Rack, let me handle this. Close the door. I mean, close the door with you on the other side. Now, the truth of the matter is, we don't really know what these boys were planning on doing with the fertilizer. We all know what they were going to do with that liquid fertilizer. They weren't tending sick lilies or making meth. Then we should have had the feds come in and take care of it. You've already blown the opportunity to set up surveillance operations, tracking their money sources, making them lead us to the big boys in their manufacturing and distribution network, and now, because of your, uh, rogue deputies there, we got nothing to show for it. Except, maybe, a lawsuit for skewering a man's buttocks with an arrow. I mean, <laughs> what the hell kind of a department are you running here? Is this what you've been waiting for, Rack? Yeah. This may be of interest to you, Mr. D.A. Tito Garza wanted on federal charges. Drug trafficking, racketeering, attempted murder charge. Feds want us to deliver him to Oklahoma City on Saturday. Well, I'll uh, run that by the judge, see what's what. You may want to take a look at that file, too, Sheriff. Hey, Mavis. Oh, what do we got here? Who's that? That's Manny Garza. That's Tito's brother. He heads up all nothing, just biggest drug cartel in all of Mexico. Well, this is terribly interesting, but I am due to court. If you'll excuse me. You have a nice day, Mr. L. All right, fall out, boys. Off your ass, on your feet, out of the shade, and in the heat. We're going down to the courthouse for your rain. Madonna, hop, let's go! Move it, girls! Come on! Easy. Not too hot shot. You earned yourself a few more nights here at the Five Star. Looks like you got a big date with the FBI. You know, my brother's gonna come looking for you. And you're not gonna like it when he finds you. <laughs> you tell your brother this, tough guy. I'm easy to find. Thursday night, I'm pig hunting with Lonnie. Friday night, drinking beer at the Thirsty Monkey. Saturday morning, I'll be at my house drinking coffee at the kitchen table. And Saturday afternoon, I'm taking your ass to Oklahoma City so you can find a horny convict to be your love pinata for the next 50 years. Comprende? <laughs> Come on, Lonnie. Let this guy stay. <laughs> Stranger, what are you doing? I was about to ask you the same thing, driving down the wrong side <laughs> of the road like that. Isn't that legal? Well, not if it's official police business, it's not. Oh, so that's what this is. Well, I mean by asking you. So, were you lost? No, oh. just came into town to pick up a few things. How's your mama doing? She's all right. Yeah. She's resting. So, uh... I was gonna run over to Altus and catch a movie tomorrow night. By yourself? Well, if you're not going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going. All right. So I'll pick you up at Buck's house? Why don't I come by your place? Okay. How about six o'clock-ish? How about six o'clock? How about I'll be there? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Now let me get a little of you walking off. <laughs> Damn. Nice out here tonight, ain't it? Well, that's all it is. I got a piss. I knew we should have gone down to the river. There ain't a pig out here. How would you know? 
Back I've hunted pigs my whole life. I've probably killed more pigs than any man in Greer County. Is that so? It's primal instincts. I know how they eat. I know how they sleep. I know their breeding habits. I can talk to them if I need to. <laughs> you can talk pigs? Yep. Lonnie, you're full of pig shit. <laughs> Say what you want, Rack. But I am a pig's worst nightmare. Last thing a pig wants to see coming is Lonnie Luther Freeman. Luther? Yeah. That's your middle name, Luther. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. You know what I did to the last guy that made fun of my middle name? What's that? Not a whole lot. He's about 6'4", 250. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can always drive over to Thirsty Monkey. There's a lot of pigs over there. No, Rack. You know, I'm done chasing women. I got Becky, and I'm happy. She don't complain about me, and she don't mind me complaining about her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You ever think about getting married? Oh, she does all the time. You know, I'm just afraid if we did, she wouldn't be as inclined to take as good a care of herself as she does now, you know? I mean, hell, you've seen her sister. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be at the table early at Thanksgiving when she's around. <laughs> My lord. <laughs> She did kind of swell up. Oh, like an eight-legged dog dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did uh, Cammy ever come back? No, I don't think she's coming back. I think she's gone for good. Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear about that. Guess who is back in town? Who? Annie Streets. Oh, my God, she was hotter than donut grease back in high school. She still is. And I got a date with her tomorrow night. You dog. <laughs> you dog. Well, if you're going to keep her this time, maybe you ought to try doing something a little different. I'm going to suggest not being yourself. <laughs> I do need to get my shit together. You? Yeah. Huh. You want a beer? If you're not going to talk to me right, just take me home. What? I had a nice time tonight. Well, the night ain't over yet. Mm. Let's go for a walk. Oh, I don't know. The streets of Altus, Oklahoma could be pretty dangerous this time of night. I'll take my chances. <laughs> Rack. What? Oh, I just wanted to apologize for what Buck said to you the other day and disrespecting your daddy like that. Don't worry about that, Annie. That stepdad of yours is a piece of work. Would your mom ever seen him anyway? <laughs> I don't know. But I think at the beginning, she really did love him. And it became more about security and making sure I was taken care of. God bless her. How you put up with him? Not easy. If mama didn't live there, I wouldn't need him. So he's going to take care of your mama when you go back to Chicago? Well, I'm not sure I'm going back. What do you mean? My mama needs me, and I miss small-town life, Rack. Big cities too fast for me. I miss the people here. I miss the pace. Heck, I miss the tasty greens. <laughs> Believe it or not, I kind of missed you, too. I missed you, too, Ed. I, I got you something. <laughs> Yeah, um, <laughs> Where did you get that? <laughs> Dug it out of an old box yesterday. Your daddy took it. I thought you might want it. Remember mm -hmm. our first date? Your old truck broke down and we had to walk all that way back in the rain. Wow, thanks, Annie. <laughs> Golly, we were soaked. Hey, I never thanked you for wearing that white t-shirt that night, though. <laughs> <laughs> Those were good times, Rack. Yes, they were. Yeah. Practicing. Well, you've been gone a long time. Well, we should do this again. Well, night ain't over yet. Well, what do you want to do? I don't know. Maybe we go get a corn dog and go to my house. Oh, Rack, you're so romantic. <laughs> corn dog? <laughs> Thank you. 
I think I got a fertilizer for you there, there Rack. I appreciate you getting out here on such short notice, Bob. Uh, short notice, long notice, it don't make no difference to me. I ain't been, I ain't been, I ain't been too busy today anyhow. Well, I tell you, you plumbers, you are lifesavers. Well, I tell you what, I appreciate that. But you know what? what? This job, it ain't now what it's, uh, uh, it's cracked up to be. It must be hard. Well, it is. There are three things there is. Uh, three things, uh, there are three things to be a plumber. I'm talking about a good plumber. What's that? Shit runs downhill, don't chew your fingernails, and payday is on Friday. I believe that. Hey, I'll see you around. Okay, Rex. All right. Toodles. Hello. Buck Baker called the sheriff early this morning. He was all upset, and he didn't come home. Found a car out here, abandoned. Car is clean, Rack. Key's still in the ignition. The purse is there with nothing missing. Wasn't a robbery. We don't have any witnesses. Hey, Buck. Levins, what are you doing here? Just checking up on Buck, seeing how he's doing. Can I talk to him? Come on in. Right. Buck, what can you tell me about Annie? Well, she left about 6 o'clock yesterday evening. I haven't seen her since. You guys heard anything where she was last night, what she did? Well, she was with me last night. She was with you? Yeah, we went over to Altus and saw a movie. <laughs> where did she go after the movie? Buck, she stayed the night at my house and got up sometime early this morning and left. You were the last one with her? Yeah. You'd think if your daughter's screwing the cop, at least she'd be safe. You watch your mouth, Buck. Rack. You gotta understand this don't look so good. You were the last one to see her before she disappeared. You ain't gonna sit here and say no, I All I'm saying, maybe you shouldn't be working on this case. I came over here because I'm looking for Annie. I think you've done enough, Rack, don't you? Buck, I'll talk with the sheriff. We'll find Annie. I think it's time for you to leave. You don't think I had something to do with this, do you? Oh, hell no. Levin's called. He thinks it's a problem. No, no, you're not taking me off this case. This is about I, Annie. I understand that. We'll keep you in the loop. But you cannot be seen out there working on this case. You understand that? We'll find her. All right? Johnny Franks. What? He's clean, Sheriff. He was at the Main Street Cafe all morning. Talked to Barb and a few locals who were there. His story checks out. Sheriff, this sounds important. You better punch up line two. Sheriff Landry. Bring my brother to the center of Market Square. Santa Luna, Mexico. Sundown this Friday. Once my brother is released, you'll get the girl. And one minute later, if I don't see my brother, I'll assume you want me to kill her. And I will. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. How do I contact you till then? Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait,
funny. Phony, there's someone at the door. Uh, tell them we're not here. Huh? Get up! Get up! Get up. Damn it, man! Answer the door. It's 3 in the morning. Who's at the door? I'm coming. Hold on. Right. Lonnie, let's go. Go where? Mexico. I'm gonna go get Annie. You're not even supposed to be working on this case. The sheriff said so. You don't need that. Where's your ammo? Bottom drawer. This is not a good idea. I'm telling you right now, you need to think about what you're doing. Look, Annie's down in Mexico scared to death tonight, and I'm not going to sit around and wait on Landry to come up with some bullshit plan. Where's the keys to Thunder? No, we're not taking my truck. She's not even broke in yet. Bonnie, what's going on? Hey, Beck. Bonnie, let's go. I'll wait right here. I'll be right back. I promise. Right? Why do we got to take my truck? You gonna wear those in Mexico? Um, <clears throat> Becky got these for me for Valentine's Day, and they come with the matching tank top. It just looks too ridiculous. Well, they're real nice. Let me get my stuff. <laughs> Oh, no, you're not bringing that stupid mutt with us. Police dog. Leave this. Oh, Jesus, Scott, you scared the shit out of me. Morning, Scott. Dead man, that's what I am. You two and that Mexican will kill me, Becky will. So you got everything? Yeah. Why do we got to take my truck anyway? Because they won't be looking for your truck. What are we doing? First, we're going to go get Tito. Great, how are we going to pull that off? Well, who's working a graveyard shift down at the jail tonight? Peabody, so what? So what happens to Peabody when he eats too much sugar? He gets sleepy. Four bear claws. Yeah. Four eclairs. A couple of them cinnamon rolls. Can I get two of those chocolatey twisty deals with the sprinkles on top? I love those. <laughs> Skunk, you, you want anything? What? I'm hungry. Now, what was that you said you wanted? Hey, P, buddy. Oh, hey, hey, Lonnie. What are you doing down here this late? Oh, well, I was just in the neighborhood, and I thought I'd come by and bring you some donuts, you know, since it's your birthday and all. <laughs> it ain't my birthday. Well, then, Merry Christmas. Well, it's Mark. Well, help me, buddy. I brought you some donuts. Oh, and a oh. fella bring a friend some donuts. Okay. All right, all right. Well, 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 what? I don't really care much for bear claws. Hey, do you have any of them chocolatey twisty deals with the sprinkles on top? I really love those. Seriously, like a big fat baby. Wake up. Get your ugly ass up. Let's go. Where are you going? Mexico. that windshield. I'm going to go pay for this fuel. Okay. You want coffee, skunk? Hi, handsome. <laughs> you like to have a good time? <laughs> yeah. I'm Harvietta. I'm Lonnie. <laughs> Who's that dude in the back seat? Huh? Oh, that's my prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your prisoner. Well, he's a real prisoner. He's Tito Garza. He's Manny Garza's brother. He's wanted by the FBI. He's a big drug warhead fella. He kidnapped Rack's girlfriend, then he's in the store. They're not like boyfriend or girlfriend or anything. They uh, 
Uh, we got till Sunday on Friday. We're gonna trade him for Annie. She lives in Chicago. Oh, <laughs> that's so hot. <laughs> So that's uh, two coffees and uh, Free Snow White! This is the holdup. Give me the cash. Well, what are you looking at, Pilgrim? <laughs> He's up there, Casper. All right, now, nobody moves and nobody gets hurt, all right? Now, you open that register and you give me the money right now. Don't give him, Jack. Hey, uh, we got two coffees. Hey. You want to get shot? How you going to shoot me, man? You got your safety on. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that. Throw that trash before somebody gets hurt. Um, that's that's a uh, that's seventy-five dollars even. <laughs> I'll be damned. Two coffees in a fill-up, seventy-five even. What's the chances of that happening? I wonder if a sweet little old girl like me could hitch a ride to the next truck stop with a big, strong, long man like you. Well, <laughs> I reckon we could. I, I mean, I'm gonna need to ask Rack. Nope. Hey, Rack. Hey, listen, uh, this is Harvey Anna. She was, uh, she was wanting to know if she could catch a ride to the next truck stop. Let the hooker go and get the truck. Hooker? Rack, she ain't a hooker. She's a good Christian woman. She's got a nice cross necklace on. I told you that was a nice rack necklace. I, I mean, a nice, you know. My God, I believe you're right, Lonnie. <laughs> she is a good Christian woman. <laughs> but she's not going now. Get in the truck. Oh. Sorry, Harvey. Hey, where's Tito? He was in the back seat. He, he couldn't have. Damn it, Lonnie, I told you to watch him. <laughs> you going fishing, Tito? <laughs> Hurts like hell, don't it? You got him? Get him in there. <laughs> Tito. What? Come here. You try that crap again? I'm gonna duct tape your ass to the bumper. <laughs> oh my lord. This better be good. With Leah, we are mending hearts from coast to coast tonight. Our first caller is from Loveland, Texas. His name is Danny. Hi, Danny. Who are you loving tonight? Well, I'm loving my beautiful wife, Debbie, Leah. Well, tell us all about Debbie, Danny. Well, we've been married for 17 years, Leah, and there were times when I doubted our love and I took her for granted. Till three years ago when I had the accident on the farm. I woke up in the hospital and both my arms were gone. The first thing I thought that went through my head was, I'd never be able to hug my wife again. The second thought was how was I going to ever play catch with my little boy. And the third thought that was probably the most devastating was how would I defend myself if someone was tickling me. Can I come in? I'm freezing my tits off out here. What the hell's she doing here? Hey, Arvieta. <laughs> See what you did? It's all on you. Hey, Arvieta. Now, you march yourself right around there, and you drive a little while. <laughs> Come on, let's roll. And you, young lady, you're getting off the next truck stop. You understand me? I brought you some food, my dear. I wouldn't want your boyfriend to think I wasn't taking care of you. I don't like being insulted. <laughs> Your boyfriend insulted me. He took someone that was very important to me. He took my brother. <laughs> Let me show you something. Francisco! <laughs> This is Pedro. <laughs> Pedro, you took something from me, didn't you? Manuel, please. Tell her why 
know you took. No, I swear I took nothing. That's not true, Pedro. I gave you a package to deliver. You were supposed to get money for the package and bring it back to me. But you kept the money for yourself, I'm didn't sorry. you? I'm so sorry, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay, Pedrito. I don't like it when people take things from me. Idiota! He's bleeding all over the rock! Ay, good help is so hard to find these days. Junior. Something big's about to happen. Who's Junior? He's my police dog back there. Ooh. Hey, baby. Show them to me. Show them to me. Unclasp your bra, set those puppies free. They'd look a whole lot better with that that sweater, baby, I'm sure you'll agree. If you got two front bags, show them to me. <laughs> well, it can't be that hard to find them. Now, I gotta have Tito Garza in Oklahoma City on Saturday, or there's someone's ass. Now, you find them, damn it! Jeez. Well, this is just great, Rack. Well, it took me two years to rebuild. It took us one day to screw up. Took you one hour to screw it up. I knew we should have taken my truck. I knew it! Well, you brought us out here now and got us in trouble. We got a busted radiator in the middle of nowhere. Uh, fellas. <laughs> Will somebody get the Mexican? I said, get him, don't kill him. Looks like somebody's coming up. Let's see if we can get him to help. Y'all need any help? Yeah, man, where's the closest gas station? About 75 miles, I think. Damn. I'd be glad to push y'all down there about 30 minutes. You got a campsite, got a good mechanic down there. I appreciate that, old timer. We're in a hell of a hurry. She means a lot to you, huh? Who told you I got a girlfriend? Bonnie, you got a big mouth. Aww. Sorry. <laughs> it's like a romantic fairy tale. We're at the White Knight sweeping in to save the princess. What do you know about White Knight's fairy tales and your line of work? Well, I, I reckon I made plenty of fantasies come true. Yeah, I had your hand in a lot of happy endings, huh? Well, I wrote me a poem down. Now, if I ever met my fantasy guy, I'd want him to say something like this. All right. When the sun don't rise and the wind don't blow and the seas have left the shore, I promise my dearest with my dying breath to love you forevermore. <laughs> if a man ever says something like that to me, he'd own my soul. <laughs> Harvey Adam? That is the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. Hey, a gal can dream, can't she? I've come a long way from Sweetwater to find my white knight. <laughs> yeah, one truck stop at a time. You love this girl of yours? I've always loved her. You gonna marry her? Yeah, maybe someday. I'm boy and dream, Katie.
far, folks. Hey, I'm Charlie. What kind of horse shit you got going on here, Charlie? This is uh, like our down season, you know. We're traveling show folks. Well, won't you fix that radiator and show us how to travel the hell out of here? Is this the rig you call me about, Charlie? Hey, this is Jeff. He can fix any kind of vehicle you got. Mm. <laughs> Handsome and handy, huh? That's what my wife says. <laughs> oh, look! A monkey! What do you think? What's the chance of getting a running, man? We're in a hell of a hurry here. <laughs> well... And you boys cops or something? Uh, yeah, Jeff. Come here, man. We need to have a little chat here. I gotta get that guy back there to San Luna, Mexico, like pronto. There's gonna be some really bad stuff go down. So, think you can get me running or not, man? Yeah, man, I'll get you running about four or five hours. Oh, that's great. The thing is, we just need to find a radiator. But, I guarantee there's one here. Follow me. You gotta be shitting me. She got shot by a security guard at the bank. She bled to death in my arms. That is so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're my kind of girl. All right. We want to welcome our new friends here. Let's everybody share in a cup of circus jolly. Jolly! We make kids laugh, we make kids cry. That's what we'll do till the day we die. And if you love us, you can fill your glasses. And if you don't, you can kiss our asses. Jolly! <laughs> Hey, Rack, this stuff's pretty good. That's elephant piss. <laughs> Just kidding. Horse piss. Not <laughs> kidding. Jeans, gypsy wine. You know, our toasts around here are kind of a family thing, even though we're not that kin. This old sniper Sam over there from Vietnam. Been a carny for 35 years. He's a sharpshooter. He was best man at both my weddings. And you remember uh, two Tontina over there? Oh, oh, oh. oh, she's friendly. She's a hugger. <laughs> oh, Ladies and gentlemen, direct your attention to the center stage where I, Meriwether the Magnificent, <laughs> ah. an amazing feat that I have been practicing for months with his poor results. In my quest to become the most daring illusionist of our time, my bravery is matched only by my blind stupidity. <laughs> Isn't that dangerous, Charlie? Danger is often just an illusion created in our minds. But when danger becomes a reality, it must be met head on. With an illusion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, What's wrong, Ron? Lost my watch. It's uh, 12 uh, 30. Mm -hmm. That's my watch. <laughs> Who took my watch? Sit down, Lonnie. Give me my watch, you shaky old son of a bitch. You saying I took your watch? No, Sam. I, uh. <laughs> I think I left my watch at the truck stop. <laughs> my mistake. Oh, it's no mistake, mister. Just kidding, Quark. <laughs> there you go.
go, Rack. Got her picked. Good as new. All right, man. You're the best. Jeff, we'll see you, buddy. Hey, old Charlie boy gave me a big old jug of this circus jolly last night. Yeah. I like it. Hey, wait, we forgot Harvietta. No, your girlfriend's staying. Hooker. Sixty-two miles to showdown. Rock, I can't wait that long. You gotta pull over. I gotta pee. We just left thirty-five minutes ago. You can't hold Rack, it. Rack, the circus jolly's running right through me. Pull over. Jesus Christ, Lonnie. Use that cup. Look, I don't know about you, but it takes two hands to wrangle what I got. Would you like to hold the cup for me? Oh. Ooh. This thing didn't have a hole in the end of it. It looked like a football right now. Oh. 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 They got great acoustics in here, right? Oh. Oh. You know you make me hold. No cigarettes are key, man. Now wait a minute. You know you make me want to shout, kick my heels up and shout, throw my hands up and shout, throw my head back and shout, shout. come on now, shout. don't forget to say you will, shout. Shout. don't forget to say yeah, 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 shout, yeah, yeah, yeah. shout. say you will, say it right now baby, say you will, come on, come on, say you will, say that, huh, yeah, say Say that you love me, say that you need me, say that you want me, you want to please me, come on now, come on now, come on now. I want you to know, I said I want you to know right now, you've been good to me baby. Better than I've been to myself. Hey, hey. Come on, man. Show me something now. Show me a little bit louder now. Show me a little bit louder now. Show me a little bit louder now. some really friendly people down here. Do you think we can come back when we're not working? Well, how did I wind up down here in Mexico? Okay, guys. Let's try to be as inconspicuous as possible. La Puerta of the Door. Tengo gusto. I like. Tengo gusto. I like. Queso. Cheese. Queso. Cheese. Tengo gusto del queso. I like cheese. Tengo gusto del queso. <laughs> How about that shit, Rack? I like cheese. You know what I'd like? I'd like for you to give me time to think here for a minute, okay? You know what, Rack? If we're going to blend in, we need to know this stuff. And I can't help it that you're going to be at a disadvantage because you don't know Spanish. Chicle, senor. Chicle. Not right now, little buddy. Hey, kid, do you speak English? No, comprende. Are you sure you don't speak English? A little. Yeah. What's your name? Chico. Chico, good. You know who this guy is? No, senor. Manuel Garza. You know Manuel Garza? Si, senor. Cato Diablo. No bueno. Yeah, you're telling me no bueno. You want to make $50? Si. 
Yeah? Si, senor. All right. You wait right here, okay? Lonnie, write your cell phone number down on a piece of paper. Oh, yeah. All right. My truck, my piece of paper, my cell phone number. Give me that damn necklace. <laughs> hey, Chico. Come here, buddy. All right. You make sure Gato Diablo gets this, okay? Si, senor. Senor. I hope many beautiful women will come to your funeral. Hey, Skunk, keep an eye on Tito. You know, that kid's a really fast runner. Now what are we gonna do? Hell, let's go in this canteen and wait on him to call. Stop that boy! Woo! That is margarita. I believe that's the biggest margarita I've ever drank. They do not mess around in Mexico, I'll tell you what. You think he's gonna call? He'll call. Look at that donkey's ass hanging off the wall over there. Somebody mounted the wrong end of that thing. You know, I bet if we walked around the other side of the building, it'd just be stick. Yo! Yo. Oh, Mr. Deputy. Are you enjoying your stay in beautiful Mexico? I've lost my sense of humor. Where's Annie? No, 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 no. Not to worry. We have taken great pleasure in caring for her. You touch her and I'll kill you. <laughs> it's not her I want. It's you. You bring Annie to Rusty's Cantina. Rusty's Cantina, huh? Good margaritas. Oh. Okie dokie, Mr. Smokey. I'll meet you at sundown. And bring my brother if you want to see her alive. Let's go. Boyfriend, he sounds like a very nice guy. I look forward to our meeting. I was wondering, do you think I should wear this or this? I think I will bring them both. Scary looking guys down there. Hey, what are you doing? I'm blending in. Well, you look ridiculous. And he doesn't? The Showtime boys are pulling in. What do you see? About eight or ten of them. There's Manuel, and they've got Andy. And there's Johnny Franks. I knew that bastard had something to do with this. Get that Mexican on this rock. Yeah, but I knew I should have brought a suitcase. Lonnie. What? Forget the sombrero. Rock, I paid eight bucks for this. I've always wanted one. Besides, right now, it's a disguise. Later, it's a souvenir. <laughs> Hold that. Give me the hat. Put all the stuff in a bag and let's go, OK? And bring a pillowcase with you. Remember, when Tito is inside, lock the doors.
<laughs> Welcome, Mr. Deputy. I see you're right on time. Where's Annie? What is the rush? Sit down. Have a drink. Don't drink with assholes. Tell me, what is keeping me from killing you right now? That was a perfectly good donkey's ass. Ready to deal? Take your big gun away from the head of my brother and release him. First, where's Annie? Right here, Rack. <laughs> Buck, how'd you get involved in this bullshit? Bullshit? Well, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but uh, United Farm Enterprises is home to the biggest meth lab in Oklahoma. I provide the land and the buildings. And me, the manpower and the distribution. So you're in bed with that damn DA, huh? <laughs> Levin? Oh, he's no problem. Give him a little whiskey and some cash, a couple of fat Mexican whores, he's happy as a pig and shit. Now, no offense there, Manny. They're not all fat. So you see, pretty simple. I don't need a deputy do-right and his girlfriend prowling around my ranch making things complicated. Let her go, Buck. First, release my brother. Danger is often just an illusion created in our minds. When danger becomes a reality, it must be met head on with an illusion. Tito, are you okay? La puerta, the door. The door? Tito, que te pasa? Tango gusto del queso. It tastes like cheese. Hi, everybody. What have you done with my little brother? Oh, crap. Stepdaughter ain't blood. You know, you should never come back, honey. Your mama's gonna be okay with all that goofy juice I've been feeding her. She won't remember her own name. You son of a bitch. That's it, Johnny. Send him to hell. Right destination, wrong passenger. What? I don't believe we've met. Agent LaVon Spurlock, FBI. What? Three years undercover, Buck. Glad to finally see you go down. Oh, uh, you want? It's gonna be okay. I got you. Down. You all right, baby? I am now. Hey, Rack. 
You know, these boots are nice. You can't find these Mexican silver wingtips in Oklahoma. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Annie. Hi, honey. Meet Agent LaVon Spurlock. Hey, I'm Lonnie. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Look at Junior. <laughs> he put the kick-ass mic down on Tito. <laughs> Good dog, Junior. Police dog. <laughs> Mexico's largest drug cartel was incarcerated earlier today in Oklahoma City. He and his brother Tito Garza have been the subject of a five-year undercover FBI investigation hey. into their involvement hey, look in the production of methamphetamine. Ah, look at the, the TV! An FBI spokesman told reporters that the pair had financed a large hey, operation ain't that Johnny outside the That's farming serious? community of Mangum, Oklahoma. Right. It's the sheriff calling. You want me to answer? <laughs> Hell no. He's going to fire him. He's going to fire me in the face. Let's go in there and have a beer, man. It looks real quiet tonight. Home sweet home, Lonnie. Shot glasses over here. Good to see you, Annie. You okay? Yeah. And I wanted to say thank you so much for sending this posse to come and get me. Mm hmm. Disobeying orders. Kidnapping a federal prisoner, illegal transfer of said prisoner across state line. Unauthorized transport and use of firearms in a foreign country? Am I missing anything? Yep, yep, you are. Uh, not answering a department-issued cell phone when you called. I had to kick you collective asses right here and right now. Give me one good reason why I don't lock you up. Because it's time for a toast. <laughs> <laughs> Skunk, what is this? Circus Jolly. <laughs> Rack Skunk said Circus Jolly. Skunk, you have a beautiful speaking voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hear it. Whiskey for my men. Here's my horses. <laughs> oh, boy. That's Circus Jolly, Sheriff. Yeah, well, it tastes like elephant piss. <laughs> I'm on a haystack, kicking back three bells high. A flatbed stage in a full moonlight. Party on the farm, all night long. With the moonshine flowing to the brick and dawn. Hey, Annie. Baby, I got something I got to tell you. When the um, sun don't rise and the winds don't blow and the seas have left the shore, I promise my dearest with my dying breath to love you forevermore. Rack. That's the stupidest shit I ever heard. What, do you rip that out of a Hallmark card from the drugstore over in Mangum? <laughs> no, baby. I got it from Harvey at a hooker from Sweetwater. Hey, Rack! You just farted! Something's about to happen! It's <laughs> off the hill and they off the redneck chain. Join the rebel revolution, it's a runaway.
o'clock news says somebody been shot. Somebody's been abused. Somebody blew up a building. Somebody stole a car. Somebody got away. Somebody didn't get too far. Yeah, they didn't get too far. Grandpappy told my pappy back in my day, son, a man had to answer for all the wicked that he done. Take all the rope in Texas, find a tall old tree, round up all of them bad boys, hang 'em high in the street for all the people to see. That justice is the one thing you should always find. You gotta saddle up your boys, you gotta draw a hard line. When the gun smoke settles, we'll sing a victory tune, and we'll all meet back at the local saloon. We'll raise up our glasses against evil forces, singing whiskey for my men, beer for my horses. We ain't got too many gangsters doing dirty deeds, too much corruption and crime in the streets. It's time the long arm of the law put a few more in the ground. Send them all to the mayor. And he'll settle on down. You can bet he'll settle down. 'Cause justice is the one thing you should always find. You gotta saddle up your boys. You gotta draw a hard line. When the gun smoke settles, we'll sing a victory tune, and we'll all meet back at the local saloon. And we'll raise up our glasses against evil forces, saying. Whiskey for my men, beer for my horses. Whiskey. 